Short question, short answer. Is Geert Wilders a populist? Of course he is. He's proud of that. Meindert Venema explains why he's not. Uh, well, if he is a populist, then all politicians are in that sense that they all pretend to represent the people. They all pretend that the people are really actually, they, they really represent the people better than their opponents. And this is why there are elections. Um, now, uh, you are right in the sense that, um, that a populist also strongly oppose the political elite. But um, uh, on the other hand, there is also this notion of populism being just to say what the people want. And, um, and if you can say one thing about Wilders, it's not that he just says what people want. He, in fact, has taken fairly unpopular positions in, in a certain, in a certain um, number of do domains. But I mean, the way um, Islamophobia is framed is, in such, is such that you cannot really criticize or um, approach problems. And I give you one. Um, we have in our institute investigated the radicalism among Dutch Muslims. It turns out that 12% of the Moroccan people in Holland reject democracy, want Sharia, and is support violent means to introduce the Sharia. This is, due, this is true for 8% of the Turkish people. Now, the good news is that most of these people are elderly ma male, fairly uneducated, who are not willing to do something about it. So there's no problem. So the conclusion, the conclusion of my colleague Jean Tilly was there was not really a problem for democracy. But is it true that people who take such results seriously and say there is a problem are Islamophobic? No, I, I don't think you can say that. It depends on, on, on what... Um, uh... When is it Islamophobia? Well, when it becomes criticism phobic? Well, first of all, I think if you um, uh, ad address a group as a group with th that you are wrong because you're part of the group or you are wrong because you are a Muslim, uh, if you address a problem, whether it's with immigration, whether it's with housing, whether it's with identity, and I think it's interesting that you come up with this example because that was exactly my point, that one of the major issues, whether it's within migrant societies or communities or whether it's in non-migrant is a question of identity. Look at why populists so much stress the fact that the Dutch society has to become more Dutch. We are, and not only in Holland, we are really in search of what does it mean to be a citizen? What does it mean to be Dutch? What does it mean uh, that I have a Dutch passport? And what does the European community have to say about that? These are the real issues and they live in an immigrant uh, community as much as in another. And I'm sure that uh, this question you, you addressed is a question of a, a problem of a challenge of identity. And that's what we should address. Yeah, Abklink, yeah, just, just. Uh, I think it, it's a very important question. Uh, what does it make Islamophobia? Um, I don't think that if uh, someone who's in parliament, like Geert Wilders, um, discusses the fears and actually um, shares the fears of the people that this in itself is, is wrong. I'd rather say it's very good that he does reflect the fears which are in society. It depends on the answers you give. And the answer that has been given is actually that the group itself um, is unrepairable. Um, so Islam in itself will, will and shall be a problem now and it will be in the future. And also the fact that um, he is not only reflecting the fears, but he is, in my opinion, in a certain way, exploiting the fears. Because he doesn't give a solution, he just says they have to go back, we have to get less of them, 
no mass migration anymore, although we don't have mass migration in, uh, in the, at this very moment. So that's what I mean by exploiting the problem. And so I think that someone in, who is a politician needs to reflect the fears of the people, but the answer you give, um, it depends on the answer you give, whether it's Islamophobia, like it was said in the previous session, uh, or whether it is what I always uh, very much like in the, in the German uh, culture, if they speak about Hoffnungsträgers, those who try to, get, to, to hand over to the people solutions. And yeah, but I think this, this can, can, can you, now, well, can you explain why Wilders is so popular at this moment? Well, as I tried to say in my introductory statements, um, many people are worried about mass immigration, in particular of people who are coming from non-Western countries. And although it is maybe true to say that at the moment there is no mass immigration, I don't have the figures here, it is certainly true that in the, in, the, um, in the 90s of the last century, there was mass immigration. I know it quite well because I was leading the, the VFD at those, in those days, and we had to work with it. And it is my conviction that if the, the people who then had political power in the latter part of the 80s, in the beginning of the 90s, in the second half of the 90s, if those people, and I mean Lubbers and, and Koch and Van Mierlo and, and others, if they, had, if they had adopted a stricter policy on immigration, restricting immigration to people who could, who could, who could uh, be of benefit to, to the Dutch economy, as, as, uh, as Mr. Klink w w wants, it, then we would not have had all the problems that we have now, and we probably would not have a Mr. Wilders as we have now. His existence is a, is a reaction to, to a, a situation which has gone out of hand, an ungecontrolleerde toegang. Thank you. Paul Frischer. I, I completely disagree. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. uh, uh, Mr. Bogstein is, is perfectly right because the big problem in the Netherlands until now is that we always concentrated on integration and not on migration. We should have developed a migration politics and we never had it. We always co concentrated to, to sorts of cultural interpretation of the Netherlands and integration, be it multiculturalism, or be it perfect xenophobia. The thing we should ask is, who is welcome and who is not, and on what grounds? And that is a confrontation with ourselves, because that makes perfectly clear that the question, who is welcome in our country, is first and last a political question which cannot be answered in moralistic terms but which can only be, asked, be answered in political terms. And that is quite confronting for a country which always uh, 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 identified itself uh, on the basis of morals, of values, of being a good country. Because migration politics, by definition, is about exclusion and not about inclusion. It is about exclusion and we should be harsh about it because it's the only answer you can give to that, to that question. Uh, uh, secondly, um, if we look at liberties, I would say uh, freedoms in a liberal democracy and a state of law that we are is the liberty to do stupid things. As Isaiah Berlin put it, so the concept of liberty cannot be connected by the state with a specific interpretation of what you should do with these liberties. So the connection between liberties on the one hand and a concept of emancipation on the other hand is utterly wrong because there is a fundamental right not to be emancipated. And that is why the left has so much trouble. I, I sensed it in the, in, the, in the debate of the former panel. And in some respects, I thought there was a sort of assumption that civilization is left. 
I don't think so. I don't think so. You okay. mean the civilization has or is left? Yes. <laughs> I know what I'm saying. <laughs> well, I, I wanted to... Um, the, the discussion about mass immigration, I'm, I always um, wonder how you could, uh, uh, Mr. Bork said, how you could say something like that, that it all comes, that Wilders is born out of our... Uh, out of the mass immigration that took place um, in the last 50 years. What, what I would ask you, don't you think is this much more a question that we cannot address the issue of um, how uh, the Dutch culture, what it means in a bigger European context, for instance, that people are afraid of losing something and they think they lose it because foreign people come to this country. They don't even exactly know what they lose, but they feel something is lost, something that was cozy and familiar and that has to, co that has to be lost because obviously so many foreigners come into it. And I think you're making the same mistake by not looking deeper, the underlying issue, why are we so afraid of losing something and what is that and how can we address that issue? Well, I certainly think that people have voted for Geert Wilders out of a host of different motives. And uh, certainly uh, what you are describing is, is, is present among those motives. Uh, people are unhappy for various reasons. They've lost their job, uh, their wife has run away, uh, uh, a, a girl, their, their girl is, is on the drugs and so on and so forth. And that makes them unhappy and, and disgruntled and therefore they think, well, what the hell, I'll vote for Geert Wilders. <laughs> um, that, 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 that is certainly true. But the, but the um, and, and what you mentioned, uh, the loss of cultural values and so on, that, that, that used to be the case vis-a-vis uh, -vis the European Union. People used to be against the European Union because they thought, well, our culture would disappear in this great big um, 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 a jamboree of, of, of different, different cultures. So, so th th that is certainly present. But Wilders has latched on to that unhappiness, if you like, which in his case goes back to the mass immigration of the 90s. That is when, when it, it happened and that is when it went wrong. And it went wrong because the government of the day was still impressed with this idea of the goede vreemdeling, of the good stranger, and therefore was ineffective in controlling the influx in our borders. It, it, it fell down on its duties. And, and Wilders is a clever politician, so <clears throat> he, he makes use of that. <clears throat> and he, he becomes very popular for a while, for a while. Let's see what happens in the next election. So uh, that is behind it. But what he says about Islam is nonsense. We have a country, <clears throat> we have freedom of religion. It is, in fact, the basis of the Netherlands. It goes back to the, the 80 jaar Oorlog. It's the basis of the Netherlands. So statements like, we must forbid the Koran or whatever uh, he, he says in that direction is simply nonsense. 